Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. Now, this here we have 5 raised to power x over 5 squared equals to 50 from here. Now, this here we can write this as 5 raised to the power x over 5 squared 5 times 5, that's 25. Then equals to, we can write this as 50 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply 5 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 5 raised to the power x, then equals to 50 times 25 here. Then, from what we have here, we take the log on both sides. Now this here we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 50 times 25, which implies we apply power law of logarithm. And what we have becomes, and when we have log m raised to the power p, which is equals to p log m, then here we have x log 5 equals to log 50 times 25. The next step, we divide both side by log 5. As this divide this side by log 5, also divide this side by log 5, which implies log 5 cancelled each other here. Then we have x left, which is equals to log 50 times 25 over log 5. Then, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 50 plus log 25 over log 5. Then, next day, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 50 over log 5 plus log 25 over log 5. Then here we can write 25 as 5 times 5, which is 5 squared. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 50 over log 5 plus log 5 squared over log 5. That is we apply the power of logarithm here and we take 2 to this side. And what we have becomes x equals to log 50 over log 5 plus 2 log 5 over log 5, which implies here log 5 cancelled each other. And we have 2 left here. That is x equals to log. 50 over log 5 plus 2. Then also here we can write 50 as 25 times 2. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 25 times 2 over log 5. Then plus 2 here. That is, this also follows from the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to log 25 plus log 2 over log 5 plus 2. That is, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log. 25 over log 5 plus log 2 
over log 5 plus 2. That is, here also we can write 25 as 5 squared. And we have x equals to log 5 squared over log 5 plus log 2 over log 5 plus 2. Then when we apply the power of log 2 comes in. All we have becomes x equals to 2 log 5 over log 5 plus log 2 over log 5 plus 2. That is here, log 5 cancelled each other. And we have two lists. That is x equals to 2 plus 2, then plus log 2 over log 5, which implies this becomes x equals to 2 plus 2, that's 4, then plus log 2 over log 5. Then when we apply change of this here, from when we have log A over log B, which same thing as log A to base B. Then here we have x equals to 4 plus log 2 base 5. That is, we have the value of x here as x equals to 4 plus log 2 base 5. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 2 base 5. That is, all we have here becomes 5 raised to power 4 plus log 2 base 5 minus 2 is it equals to 50 on this side then here we can bring 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 that's 2 as this one raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 5 is it equals to 50 on this side and when we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n this is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n at least we have 5 square times 5 raised to power log 2 base 5. Is this equals to 50 from here? 5 square is 5 times 5, which is 25. And times this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is, this is the same thing as 2. Is this equals to 50 on this side? And of course, 25 times 2 gives us 50. Which is equal to 50 from here. That is, left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 2 is 5. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And thanks for your like and your comments. See you in this class and bye for now.